So, what you're perceiving isn't the direct color of the blood itself. Instead, it's a filtered version, a modified signal that has passed through layers of skin and tissue. Deeper veins located further beneath the surface are essentially invisible to the naked eye. The ones you can see are just close enough to the surface for some light to penetrate, interact, and reflect back, allowing you to perceive them. This layering and filtering process is key to understanding the blue illusion we often associate with veins. The color you ultimately perceive is significantly shaped by the depth of the vein beneath the skin. It's also influenced by the complex way light travels through the various layers of your skin. It's not a random occurrence or a trick of the eye, it's physics at work, a beautiful interplay of light and matter. Blood's color comes from red blood cells packed with hemoglobin, a protein that carries oxygen. When hemoglobin is loaded with oxygen, blood is bright red. This is arterial blood. After delivering oxygen, hemoglobin changes shape and blood turns a darker maroon red. This is venous blood. So blood is always red, just in different shades depending on oxygen.